Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Derek Hunt and I am a professional stained glass artist. And today we're going to be sharing great design secrets. And one of the great design secrets for making fantastic stained glass windows is using lead lines really cleverly. How you divide your creative design up into manageable pieces of cut glass and how you lead that together in a traditional stained glass window makes a great difference to the whole aesthetic value of the piece. So today I'm going to walk you through some of the design choices that I've made for different projects and show you how I've devised lead lines to best effect. All of that good stuff is coming up right now. So the first great secret to stained glass designing is getting your lead lines right. Don't sleep on this, it's a really key part. If you're designing a new stained glass window, you're going to get to the point where you're doing your lead line work and how you decide to divide your window up, whether it's a traditional design or a much more contemporary design, has a massive outcome on the viewer experience. So those lead lines are really key. So let's have a little look at how it was done in the Middle Ages and what traditional lead lines look like and how modern glass has changed. What a great place to start. Ely Stained Glass Museum. It's got a fantastic collection of 800 years worth of stained glass and this is their earliest piece. Originally from Soissons Cathedral, this medieval panel depicts a figure wearing a crown. It was made by a French artist circa 1210. Now if we take a little bit of artistic license and divide it up into its basic lead lines, ignoring the um, repairs that have been done over the centuries, especially to those eyes, etc. We see that the medievalists really divided that design up in the simplest possible way with a simple outline round the face, round the beard, round the halo. Very, very simple. This was the medieval style. It was a, a perimeter lead. It was secreted at the edges of the design, so around the drapery and around the outside of the halo, around the bird, all of those elements. The key part was the painted detail in the center and the lead lines were simply there to, to hold all the pieces together in one place. So the medieval tradition of lead line work was continued for the following centuries, including the arts and crafts movement and the beginning of the 20th century. Lead lines were there to service the painted detail. It was really, that was the main focus of it and the main importance of it. That was all changed with the advent of a triptych designed by John Piper, made by Patrick Renchins for Oundle School. 1954 to 1956. This absolutely revolutionized the designing of traditional stained glass. The painter's eye, a master craftsman working together, using lead lines in a new and exciting way as a graphic element flowing throughout the design, key to the whole impact of this beautiful display of glass. The use of vivid colour together with these wonderful, wandering lead lines help to create something which is entirely modern, entirely unique. So lead lines have changed throughout the centuries quite radically from the medieval style to the modern style. When I design my stained glass windows, the lead lines are the first thing that I design first important factor is how that structural element of the design holds together, how I lead the eye, how I lead the viewer through the design with lead lines, those graphic elements, dividing the design up in interesting and exciting ways. When we think about stained glass, we tend to think about the color of stained glass. It's really important as a creative to also think about the lead lines. They are absolutely key and they're an important part not to be ignored, not to be thought of as simply a structural element to service the painted detail. It is absolutely integral to the overall impact of your design. So yeah, lead lines are important. Use them well. 
If you find value in today's video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I make inspirational videos and tutorials on a very regular basis on all aspects of stained glass. So leaving a like really helps me to understand that you like this type of content. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.